guys welcome to today's video my cat stand has finally arrived i was shopping on amazon they have a ton load of different kind of stands for your cat this one was one of the tallest ones that i found it stands 70 inches which is you know if you know cats they like to be up high so i purchased this one it finally came in and today i want to unbox it for you so if you haven't joined this channel make sure to subscribe for all new videos let me know if you like this video at the end by giving it a thumbs up just so I know if you like this kind of content or not. We are going to be getting a new kitten right now. He is four weeks old. We'll be getting him in four more weeks. He's gonna be our new family member so we got to get ready for him. He's also going to have his own channel. If you want to join that channel, his channel is called Milo's World. It will be linked below as well so you can check him out and follow his whole journey of his life excited for him so he's he's pretty cute i might insert a picture right here of what he looks like yeah you can head on over and see him already i'll probably have some videos up by now all right so let's crack into this thing take it out put it together and i think we'll wait until milo gets here and then he can review the product and you'll see if he likes it or not So far, Milo has been so playful. He's getting into everything and he's kind of in the learning stage right now. So he's testing his boundaries. Wow, there's a lot. There's a lot in here, full box. This is super soft. This is way better than those carpet ones. Wow, it's like a blanket. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Ooh, there's a bed. Oh, there's all our bolts and stuff so I'm gonna just take this out lay it on the floor what is that oh what is that oh, must be the toy screw okay so I'm gonna take all this out of the box and then um, once we have it out then I'll bring it back and we can start assembling <laughs> That's a lot of pieces. And you can probably see right over there, Milo has a bunch of toys already in his toy box. I'll link that video below if you wanted to see where I purchased all of the toys from and the litter box, so you can check that out. So here's our manual. It tells you everything that comes in the box. That's what it's gonna look like. And there's step-by-step -step instructions. So there's lots of poles and it looks like it's going to be easy to put together because it looks like they just kind of all screw together. So yeah, I'm going to put it together now. So let's go. This is the bottom. All right. So it wants us to put the house part together first, which is that little box right there. Legs out here first. So it's saying on the bottom of the cat house. Okay, so it goes inside the cat house, I guess. So we're looking at this right here, which is H and O. So H is the box part. O is the little pieces. So that's right here. And I do believe those are these. Those are going to go inside of the cat house. First off, I made sure that all of the pieces are here, so all the screws, and then they are all labeled here. So it's like a W and then a number. So they're all there. We're going to need the W1 first, which are the smaller screws, and then this will just screw smaller legs inside of the cat square. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm sure you guys don't really want to watch that, but at least you guys know what pieces go where if you bought this cat stand and you're wanting to put it together yourself. All right. I'm going to get that done and then we'll come back. So there's little holes on the cat bed box that I just poked through and the poles, one of these, are inside of here and I'm just kind of screwing them together using this wrench. Good news, I got it all together. So we screwed in all the uh, four screws, did the top and the bottom. So we got that all tightened and fastened down. That's what the inside looks like. It wasn't too hard. All right, on to the next step. So the next step will be placing the poles, which is L and K, onto the bottom of the cat stand, so the platform. There is the 
longer poles. We only need two of those and those two. So I'm gonna get that all screwed onto the bottom part and then you'll come back again. They really labeled everything really clearly. So grab your A and then grab the other ones that have the letters on and you're good to go. And we're gonna be using the W3 screws, which are these ones. Guess what, got it done. Cat stand is super easy to put together so far. All right, so we have that part done, which is the number two. Now we have to go on to number three. So we're going to be attaching the lower cat bed. So the B and using W4 screws. Actually, those are the W4s. Those are those type right there. And they look like that. So you're going to need four of those and we're just going to screw them in till about halfway. And we're going to do that to all of the poles that we put onto the lower base. And you'll know when to stop because there's those little markings on this screw. It just kind of stops. So then that's as far as it goes. And then you can just take your cat bed part and there's little holes on it. So you just want to place the cat bed on top and poke it through, poke the screws through. Okay, so I got that one. I'm going to do the back too, and then I'll bring it back. Okay, that was super easy. So this is like a lower cat bed. Seems pretty comfortable. So we've got this part done so far. On to the next. So now that we have the B on, B, we're going to need some more L legs and an M leg. And then another W4 right there. M and L and W4. So W4, M, and L. All right, so I got them all lined up here. We've got the M, we have got the L, and then I've got one of those screw things down there. So they will just screw right onto each of the screws in the corner. Ta-da! So now we'll put a, another 4W into this smaller leg. I said 4W, I mean W4. All right, so now we're on to the number five. So we need the little cat foot stand, which is F, and another M. So here we have F and M. So looks like we just put this on, this screw we just screwed in, there it is, pop on the M. All right, I have that part on. Now six, which is C and then some W3s. Here is your C using W3s. Now this one you have to watch for because you can see there's holes in the center. So you wanna make sure that the front is the right direction. These ones have the two holes there and then there's another hole right here. So you just have to kind of look at your board and make sure it's gonna fit the right way. And then just place it on top and then you screw in your W3s. Those are all screwed in now. So now we need the W3s, the Js, and the W4s, which are right here. Got them all ready, so I'm gonna install those. And those ones get installed right more like the, the center holes, like the more inner holes. So we got that part done. So now we gotta install this, which number eight, and we're gonna need two more J's. And this will just go right on top here, just like that. And once that's there, then you just screw these on. Okay, it's coming, it's coming together. It's getting there. So now we need to do step nine. Nine is the cat box, box part. So we're gonna put that on and then on to number 10 after, so. And we're gonna need a W3 and a, and a W6. Looks like that. And that's gonna be screwed on through the bottom of this piece right there into the cat house. The cat house just sits right there. And you know what, the cat box looks like it sits flush. I am going to um, install the next step, which is an N and the D, and then screw in the W3 into the two other poles. So here's the N, and the N has one of these things already in it. So that's where we're gonna be screwing onto the top of the cat box. Now, if I lost you, we ended up just screwing another screw on the bottom there, and then that screw part just sits on the top. So now it's time to install this guy on top. Correction, so this little screw part goes into the top part of the stand, that thing right there. So we're gonna screw that on, and then we'll turn it around pop it on, screw it down to the cat box, and then move on. Make sure to use a W4 for the back corner of the top platform. And then the other ones are just a uh, W3. 
Okay, so now that I have that part screwed on, on to the next step, which is, so we did 10, we've done 11, and now the final step is, well, not final, but we gotta do the 12 next. So using another L, which is this one, it's the only one we have left, and we're gonna screw it in there. Now before we start the 13, it says to screw it on the top. Let's move down to 15 and there's a little toy ball that screws on the bottom of the top board. So let's do that first, just so we can get that done and it's a little easier to do. And then we're going to put the cushion part on top of the board after we get that screwed on and ta-da, we're done. So this is what I mean is there's that little screw part and here's the little ball thing. So we're going to screw that in. I'm going to pop it on the top up there and then go from there. Now for me, it's getting a little high. You might need a ladder to screw that in unless you have a tall husband, but uh, yeah. Fun. <laughs> I can't really go screw that in and continue. So I finally got that screwed in. So now it's time for the cushion part. We're going to go and put that cushion part on. You can see it's pretty breathable. Uh, the nice thing about this part is I'm pretty sure you can just take it off when you want and wash it because it's super high. And it'd be a little bit hard to vacuum up there, but that looks so cushiony and cozy. Wow, uh, I think we got it done. That's a big stand. Whew, I had to pull it back so you can get the full picture. I think Milo is gonna be one happy little kitty. <laughs> wow, that is quite big. Here, I'm gonna film this other way. There, I can, I can kind of get the whole cat stand in now. So yeah, it's not too far from the ceiling. It's not too wide. So far, my opinion on this cat stand is it was very clear to put together. I love the material on it. It feels like a big cozy blanket. There's a lot of places for the cat to sit and to lay. There's one lay spot, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Five places to lay or to sit. You know, they can sit on the shelf part parts too and I think it'll be fun. I might hang a few more of the dangly balls um, on this thing just to keep it a little bit more entertaining. All in all, I give this stand a 10 out of 10 so far. Join Milo's channel, which is Milo's World. Like again, I said I'll link it below. We'll see how he likes it. We'll watch him play on here, hide, sleep. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So stick around. Thanks for watching guys. I will link this product in down below as well from Amazon if you're looking to purchase the same cat stand. Like it's quite high at 70 inches high, which cats usually like to be high. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.